host Mark Molnar with a special tropical weather bulletin on Tropical Storm Joaquin. Let's take a look at the particulars. Joaquin is strengthening this uh, moderate level tropical system, continuing to uh, move very slowly, nearly stationary. It has been that way for a while here, and things have changed a little bit since my graphic I posted on Monday evening. Now, this system is veering very slowly towards the southwest, and it will do so over the next 72 to 96 hours with very little to steer this system. There's a stalled out front along the east coast. There's blocking highs, double highs here, North Atlantic into Southeast Canada. So this system really doesn't have anywhere to go, hence why this is such a very difficult system to forecast. Nevertheless, we're gonna take a stab at it. This system will move towards the west southwest for probably the next, say, three to four days here. Once it gets to the eastern Bahamas or just east of the Bahamas here, it will begin to encounter weakness. It will be able to slowly propagate towards the north, very chugging, very slowly. And then once Saturday evening rolls around, once it's in this location, just about a couple hundred miles off the Carolina coast, it remains to be seen whether there'll be enough blocking to deflect the system right into the mid-Atlantic coast and up through the northeast, or into the northeast or New England, or round it out to sea here, like some of the latest models ensembles are predicting for today. That being said, there is such a model spread on this, I don't want to say for certain beyond Saturday p.m. here where this system goes because the forecast error is extremely great. So you're going to want to stay tuned if you live up and down the east coast of the United States, even southeast Canada, like Nova Scotia, Newfoundland here, and of course, all of these Bahama Islands here from Florida to Maine. So we're going to take a look at this system, continue to update you on it because the Joaquin really doesn't have a very good steering pattern with it. That being said, this system is going to provide the stalled out front along the east coast with a lot of moisture. This system is going to squeeze out a lot of moisture, so there's going to be a lot of interaction with this front. Take a look at the satellite photo of Joaquin, looking very, very well defined here. Look at this big blob of convection, showing this system has a lot going for it, despite lots of wind shear, which will lessen up in the next 24 to 36 hours. And that being said, as I showed you on my graphic here, take a look by about days three and four, this system could become a category two with 105 mile per hour winds. So we will watch for that here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern, and I'll keep you up to date on Tropical Storm Joaquin. I will show you a weather pattern that could really affect Joaquin here coming up. That being said, let's take a look at Sunday evening. Look at this, the eclipse of the moon looking, showing up very nicely here in Johnson City, New York. Thank you, Joe Drehos, for sending this eclipse of the moon in. Take a look at that reddish tint. And we take a look at the precipitation totals. Look at the east coast here from basically the Carolinas all the way up the east coast, Susquehanna River Valley, Hudson River Valley, all the way up through New England, a solid soaking rain. This could be on the order of a solid four to as much as eight inches of rain in many areas. Very well, widespread three to five inch amounts. So we'll have those locally higher amounts to eight inches potentially. And this takes us through the end of the weekend into the beginning of next week. So this is gonna be a wet time period here. And take a look at the weather pattern. Amplified pattern, some digging of the jet stream here. And look at this negatively tilted trough back east here. Even if we don't get Joaquin plowing into the mid-Atlantic coast come later the weekend into early next week, we still will have a very strong nor'easter. And this system will ride along the base of this trough and then be ejected on the east side of this trough. And look at these blocking highs to the northeast. As you can see, this is a very, very complicated weather scenario, very complex, and it's very interesting, and it's going to be very exciting. So you're gonna to wanna to stay tuned to this because this system, this trough is the key. And so are these dual high pressure systems from the North Atlantic into Southeast Canada. So I'll keep you up to date here at Media Mark. This is going to be very, very interesting. Now, whether all these elements come together to push Joaquin into the East Coast of the United States, or whether it deflects it out to sea here, it depends on the strength of these high pressure systems 
and the front that it's interacting and this negatively tilted trough. These all have to happen at the exact correct time. And models are really having a difficult time with this beyond Saturday evening. So stay tuned here at Media Mark. My original prediction was to deflect this into the coast, but we will see on that due, due to the extreme blocking here to the northeast. But there are other factors into play here, so we'll, keep, we'll watch it and analyze it. Let's take a look at those surface maps very quickly here. We're running out of time. Let's take a look at your Wednesday midpoint of the week. Look at the rain. That rain pulling out of the Susquehanna River Valley by 3 or 4 p.m. But look at here in New England. We're just getting started. Heavy rain. Lots of heavy rainers across the northeast here. Those individual cells in the bedded part of the shield of rain that produce heavy rain. That's what a heavy rainer is. And take a look. Solid shield here. And temperatures really coming down by Thursday here. Look at this. 50s across most of the northeast here. You can see that low pressure system pulling off the coast here. You get that stationary front stalled out and that will be the focal point for what happens to Joaquin here and all of its moisture. You can see into Friday here. Look at this. Increasing moisture across much of the northeast. We're looking very wet and even into New England here. This is where system could really start to get going here uh, as the low pressure starts to form off the Carolina coast and starts to move slowly along northward along the coast as that trough really gets going. Parts of New York and Pennsylvania and southern Ontario will remain dry for most of the first part of the day, but then we'll start to increase the, the uh, moisture content of the air. It will be a chilly day for many of you into the 50s, but then look at this Saturday. We increase that moisture much further in many areas from the Susquehanna River Valley, Hudson River Valley, southeastward here. We're looking at rain, a solid shield of rain developing many areas even by Friday evening into Saturday morning here. We're really starting to get into the rain as whatever happens to Joaquin here, its moisture will be entrained regardless into this front that it interacts with. And that low pressure system, as I said, will be moving upward along the coast here, providing a lot of rain here across the northeast, a widespread three to five inch amounts with locally higher to eight inches possible. So we'll keep an eye on it here at Media Marks Weather Northeastern. In 10 seconds, I'll have a five day outlook from my hometown viewers from Binghamton, Scranton, upstate Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. Don't forget to like me on Facebook at Media Mark, subscribe to me on YouTube at Media Mark Comments, Twitter at WX Northeastern, Google Plus at Media Mark, website MediaMark.com, WeatherNortheastern.com. Here's your five day stretching from Wednesday all the way through Sunday here through your weekend. Look at this. Clouds and rain pretty much every day. It'll be heavier Wednesday morning, probably another half to three quarters of an inch. We get into your Thursday. Scattered showers won't amount to much. The big story will be these temperatures, overnight lows in the upper to mid to upper 40s, low highs into the low to mid 50s, even for Friday here. Start to have some moisture content increasing, even some tropical moisture content increasing by your Saturday and into your Sunday. Look at this. We're starting to get into the lower to mid 60s and it will start to feel a little more tropical across the twin tiers of New York and Pennsylvania's upper Susquehanna region here. And look at this by Saturday, later Saturday and Sunday, we could be getting into rainfall amounts of two to four, three to five inches if the weather pattern sets up just right here with Joaquin and this front. That's going to do it for this edition of Weather Northeastern.